Chapter 12, Statistics and Probability. Lesson 1, Majors of Center. Learning Objectives. Use the mean, median, and mood as measures of center. Choose an appropriate measure of center and recognize measures of statistics. Keywords, statistics, and measures of center. Key concepts, measures of center, mean some of the data divided by the number of items in the data set. Median, middle number of the data ordered from least to greatest, or the mean of the middle two numbers. Mood, number or numbers that occur most often. Statistics is the study of collecting organizing and interpreting information or data. Mean, median, and mood are called measures of center because they are statistics that describe the center of a set of data. Number one, find the mean, median, and mood of the data. Here we have a table contains House of Representatives, California 53, Florida 27, Illinois 18, Michigan 14, New Jersey 12, New York 27, North Carolina 13, Ohio 16, Pennsylvania 18, and Texas 36. To find the mean of this data, we need to add all the values and divide by their number. So the mean in this situation is the total number of representatives divided by the number of states. To find the total number of representatives, we need to add all the values together to say 53 plus 27 plus 18 plus 14 plus 12 plus 27 plus 13 plus 16 plus 18 plus 36 and divide them by their values, I mean by their number. And remember that we have 10 states here, so the denominator will be 10 because we have 10 values. Simplifying this expression to find 23.4 is the mean. To find the median here, we need to order the data from least to greatest. So starting with 12 and ending with 53 is the order of the data from least to greatest. If we have an odd number of values, the median is the middle value. But if we have an even number of values, the median is the mean of the two middle numbers. In this situation, the two middle numbers are 18 and 18. So the median is 18 plus 18 divided by 2, which is 18. While I am ordering these values from least to greatest, I observed that 18 and 27 both repeated twice. And these are the most value has repeated. It means that this data has two modes, which are 18 and 27, and the data is bimodal. Bimodal because we have two modes. Example two. The table shows the water usage of a household during the same eight months for two years. Compare the mean usage and the median usage. So the first step is to find the mean of each data set. Remember that finding the mean means we will add the data values and divide by the number of the values. Similarly, we can find the mean of 2011. Now we came with the mean of 2010, 30.375,000, and the mean of 2011 is 20.5. Step two is to find the median of each data set. So we will be ordering each data set from least to greatest. And since we have both of the data sets are even number then we will find the mean of 
the two mid values. So in 2010, the median is 30.5, and 2011, the median is 19.5. Now let's compare the data. We will compare each measure as follows. The mean usage in 2011 was 20.5, 100 liters or 2,050 liters is less than the mean usage in 2010, which is 3,037.5 liters. And the median usage in 2011 was 1,950 liters is less than the median usage in 2010, which was 3,050 liters. So using either measure, water usage was less in 2011 than in 2010. Choose appropriate measures. Different circumstances determine which measures of center are most appropriate. The mean most useful when the data have no extreme values. The extreme values are the values that are much greater or much less than the rest of the data. And the median most useful in two situations. If the data have extreme values or if there is no gap, big gap in the middle of the data. The mode most useful when the data have many repeated numbers. Example three. The table shows the high temperature in Dubai for one week. Which measure of center best represents the data? Just follow your selection and then find the measure of center. We can see here in this table that the minimum value is 27 and the maximum value is 33. So there is no extreme values. Since the data has no extreme value or numbers that are identical, then the mean would best represent the data. To find the mean, we need to add all the values and divide the total by the number of the values. So the mean is 30. It means that the temperature of 30 degrees is the measure of center that best represents the data. Next question one. The table shows the number of setups Ahmed had done in one minute for the past seven days. Which measure of center best represents the data? Just follow your selection and then find the measure of center. You can pause the video now to try it alone. It's very easy to us to observe that on Wednesday, Ahmed had done only 19 setups, and this is considered as extreme value. So the median would be represent the data because we have an extreme value. To find the median, we need to order the data from least to greatest. It seems that we are lucky to have an odd number of data. So the median is the data that or the value that lies in exactly in the middle. By canceling values from right and from left, we can achieve the median. The number of setups of 45 is the measure of center that best represents the data. Independent facts. Find the mean, median, and mood for each set of data. If necessary, round to the nearest whole number. The prices of the same items at two stores are shown in the table blue. Compare the mean price and the median price of the items. To find the mean, we need to add all the values and divide it by 5 because we have 5 items. So the mean of store 1 is 0 0.958, which is approximately 1. And the mean of store B is 0 0.89, which is approximately 1 as well. Finding the median. 
The median can be found by ordering the data from least to greatest. So at store A, we will order the data from least to greatest, and then we will start canceling data from left and right until we reach only one value in the middle. So this value is the median. So the median of store A is 0 0.89. Similarly, we can find the median of store B, which is 0 0.98. We still need to find the mood. Looking at store A, to find any repeated price here, it's none. There is no repeated price. That's why there is no mood for store A. And similarly for store B, there is no mood. Najat needs to average 5.8 points from 14 judges to win a competition. The mean score of 13 judges was 5.9. What is the lowest score she can receive from the 14th judge and still one? Okay, Najat, had, uh, Najat got average 5.9 from 13 judge. So the formula of the mean is the sum of data divided by the number of data now we will substitute the values from the problem 5.9 is the average 13 is the number of judges and the sum of scores is above so we will find the sum of scores using this information by multiplying by 13, the post size of the equation to cancel the denominator, so we can find the sum of scores is 76.7. Now, this is the first step. We found the sum of the first 13 charges. Now, we are adding to this sum the amount of 14th charge, or the value of 14th charge, so we can find the average of for, uh, of 5.8. So 5.8 equal 76.7 plus the missing part or the required part, which is x divided by 14, which is the number of judges. Multiplying by 14 post size to cancel the denominator and then subtracting the sum of scores, which is 76.7 from post size, gives us the value of x so now she needs 4.5 at least to win the competition activity survey your family members to find their height display the results of your survey in a line plot then find the mean, median, and mode of your data. Which measure of center would you use to represent the overall height? The age of the players on a community volleyball team are 29, 25, 26, 31, 28, 23, 21, and 25. Suppose another player joins the team. What most the age of the new player? So the mean age is 27. And explain your reasoning. What must the age of the new player so that the median age is 25? Explain your reasoning. For A, I need the main formula. So we'll apply the main formula. We have eight pliers in total, and we are adding one plier to them. So the new player will be represented, I mean the age of the new player is going to be x, as it's unknown. And then we'll add these nine values all together. So I have 20, 9, 25, plus 26, plus 31, and so on, plus x divided by the total number of players, which is 9 right now. So the average or the main is 27. Solving this equation for x by multiplying both sides by 9, so we can cancel the denominator, 
and then we will subtract 28, uh, 208 from both sides. So x is 35. Means that the new player has to be 35 years old. Finding the median, we will order the data from least to greatest, and we will start canceling from right and from left. So we end up with 25 and 26. It means that the median in this situation without the new player is 25 plus 26 divided by 2, which is 25.5. Now we add any number less than or equal to 25, so the median would be 25. So therefore, the age of the new player must be 25 or less to have the median equal to 25. What we learned today, we learned that mean, median, and mode are called measures of center because they are statistics that describe the center of a set of data. We learned that mean is the sum of the data divided by the number of the data points. The median is the middle number of the data ordered from least to greatest. If it's an odd number of data and when it's an even number of data, it's the median is the mean of the middle two points or two values. The mood is the number or numbers that occur more often. So it can be only one value or more than one value. We have learned also that the mean is useful when the data have no extreme values and the media is useful when the data have extreme values and there are no big gaps in the middle of the data. The mode is useful when the data have many repeated elements. Plenary. The high temperature in degrees Celsius for one week are 26, 27, 25, 27, 28, 24, and 25. If the temperature on the eighth day is 27, which of the following would be true? The mood will change, the mean will increase, and the median will remain the same. The median will increase, and the mean will remain the same. Both mean and median will increase. Yes, if we are adding one value, it will be even number of values. So the median will increase. And also the mean will increase because this value is greater than the previous mean. So J is the correct answer. 23. Jamal said that the number that best represented the following set of data is 27. Which measure of center here referring to? If I order the, the, the values from least to greatest, I could find two values lies in the middle. If I find found the main of these two values, I will get the median, which is 27. So this is represents the median. That was everything today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.